Hello, my name is Marco Quilumba. Today we are going to learn about descriptive linguistics. Definition. A descriptive linguistics is called a subfield of linguistics that study the structure and the components of the world's languages, as well as the relationship that different languages maintain among themselves. Likewise, it refers to the study of how the society or community uh, use its language and how it has been structured since the past. That means uh, if, uh, our language, for example, where is coming from, from li uh, which language coming from. Analyze linguistic change uh, equal empirical. Observation of common linguistic patterns of the word languages. We can see uh, where it's coming from. Comparisons of languages from its linguistics uh, systematic point of view. Uh, key, uh, the key is uh, concepts, for example, uh, synchronic research, uh, phonetics, phoneme, uh, phonemes, uh, phonemes, morphemes, grammar, and syntax. Uh, related languages and language family, uh, this is refers to the existence of a historic linguistic relationship of certain or group of languages. They have a very important central characteristic from them to be related, they must to be descendants of the same language of, of, of the origin. Uh, we can call this one uh, many, for example, uh, um, German, English, uh, even some uh, Italian, Spanish coming from a proto language. And after I, I, I'm going to say, for example, uh, the, those languages I said is coming from a uh, Proto-Indo-Europe uh, language, yeah? Uh, according uh, Nesterensko, it is a set of several linguistically specific language uh, derived uh, from the same language of the common origin, Proto-language, I like I said, uh, father of the common languages. Remember, this is very important to know because uh, each language uh, family has its own proto-language. For example, Arabic language, they, they are coming from another uh, proto-language, but they are coming from some language. A description, Romance and Germanic language groups. A, a Romance language. The Roman language uh, belongs an in a, a, an Indo-Europe branch that are closely related to each other. According to uh, Harley, Romance language are the modern language that have involved since Romance times, more specifically from Bulgar Latin. The language that correspond to this language group are, like I said before, uh, for example, from uh, these languages coming from a proto language, from Rom Romance language. Um, Roman, uh, the, these languages are uh, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Italian, Romanian, Catalan, among others. Uh, German, Germanic language, uh, uh, Germanic language like Roman languages are have a branch of the Indo-Europe language family, which is native to Western Europe. The languages are English, Scottish, German, uh, Frisian, Dutch, Africans, uh, Yiddish. Uh, very important this one. English is the most widely spoken German language uh, with around uh, one, uh, 1 billion and 350,000 speakers uh, around worldwide. Example of this, Roman language, similar, similar, similar writing in certain words. For example, in Spanish, pie, hierba, muerte. In in Portuguese, uh, pe, herba, morte. French, piet, herbe, mort. Italian, piede, herba, morte. Catalan, peu, herba, mort. In German language, here are the examples. In English uh, and Swedish, uh, we can say son, son. And German, we said uh, son with a capital letter, you see. It's for example, in Dutch, this, uh, they said soon or son 
it looks like similar. If you see son, 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 uh, it's like similar because they are coming for Germanic language. Uh, Icelandic, uh, sonur, sonur, you, you see? Uh, for, in English, for example, another example, English, dota. In German, tocher. Uh, in Dutch, dotcher. In, in Swedish, daughter. It, it looks like the similar. If you see, if you notice, it sounds similar. If you see, uh, when you write, uh, got similar similarities thing. Norwegian, daughter. Uh, Icelandic, uh, daughter. You see, uh, if you notice, uh, every single language coming from the proto language. A concept of language family tree model. Uh, the German linguistic uh, August uh, Scherler um, was the author of the creation of the family tree model of the linguistic relationship. This supposed a genetic relationship of linguistic nature between languages uh, within a linguistic family. This relation consists of all languages in the in the family coming from a proto languages uh, uh, i mean this is father of the languages if you notice uh, like i said uh, this um, this uh, topic talk about the uh, languages coming from another languages for example uh, the proto indian europe uh, coming many many languages especially in europe uh, like like I said, proto Indo Iro. If you notice, it Iro. The concept of language family tree model. The Sanskrit, the Sanskrit languages is called the proto languages of all Indo Europe languages. It is the oldest one gave a rise, the revered to other languages. Uh, Sanskrit, Sanskrit is, is the first language uh, from the and other languages. This is an important piece to find relationships between them. Between them, according to Gonzalez, the first language was subject to an analytical, uh, scientific study of a linguistic nature, through which they were able to determine that it is vital for historical, descriptive, and comparative linguistic. It did provide the main key of comparative studies of common common languages here i got some examples uh, uh, from many languages coming from sanskrit for example uh, in germany uh, three in germ in germanic is three uh, is read. in latin tres uh, in greek tres in albanian tre in sanskrit Trace. If you know uh, this, those these, these ones coming from trace, this is Sanskrit. A link with the Sanskrit language is clearly evident. It has uh, the vowel e as the means of the uh, of the uh, linking. If you notice, uh, most of them that those words is sim similar. They are similar, but it's coming from the Sanskrit. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you understand me and have a good day. Bye.